This bespectacled, defolliculated man is a marketing genius. Now that's not news to us here. Over the years, Seth Godin has appeared many times at Answer Guy Central. Today though, he is back with a vengeance in 2017. The Seth Godin tribe means more than ever. Now, as much as I respect Seth Godin's work, there's a part of me that's thought of him for the last couple of years as just one more cliche-wielding marketer. And in a sense, that analysis is correct. Lately, so many people are busy telling you how to do marketing that even true experts like Seth have become suspect. Well, but then I came across a piece of content that really bothered me and then one that bothered me even more. At WP Cube, they ask the question, is Gravity Forms worth the hype? And at Business Grow, my old buddy Mark Schaefer published a piece simultaneously talking about how difficult content marketing has become, posited that you needed to keep at it anyway, but then failed to say how to do it effectively. Both of these are issues. The problem with both is the same and directly conflicts with Mr. Godin's cornerstone work. In Tribes, Seth Godin was the first guy to say directly that now authenticity is the only thing that matters in your marketing. Mark Schaefer's piece suffers from obvious inauthenticity, but what about WP Cube's piece on a particular WordPress-based form builder? Blech. Well, while the title of WP Cube's piece is clear, that it will be a review of Gravity Forms. It's a plugin. I found myself expecting something entirely different. When these words showed up right there in the second paragraph of the article, here we go, with so many free contact form plugins, why would you ever consider a paid plugin like Gravity Forms? Now it's a fine question. But it sets the table for one of two realities. Either WP Cube is shilling Gravity Forms or the writer needs to be in a different business. Meaning either that WP Cube can't be trusted to do a review or that there's a tribe problem. In other words, the Seth Godin tribe where authenticity is everything is not this. Now, there's not really a problem in the first option. We're all selling all the time. It's okay if they're shilling at WP Cube and Kardashian rules notwithstanding, that's okay. But with so many folks vying for your attention and so many WordPress information sites out there, writing bad copy is a big problem for WP Cube. Who exactly is the community looking for badly written, hey, yeah, maybe that's a review, but maybe not, articles anyway. So here's the big question. If we are all the product of all we've ever done, how do you judge authenticity? Seth Godin is proud of what he does for a living and he'll tell you so. The Seth Godin tribe isn't just an idea, it's not even just a book. Seth founded something called Squidoo, a website where anyone could publish their ideas before that idea was in vogue or easy. But Seth sold Squidoo to Hub Pages, an outfit that was known for loads of content of very little value. We used to call these sites content farms. And the landowners made out while the farmers got pretty much nothing. Today, anyone who relies on content farms instead of owning their own digital land is in a load of trouble. On the other hand, it's awfully hard to get people to leave Home Depot for your mom and pop shop, and just as hard to get people to visit you instead of Facebook. But you can work with Facebook. Coopetition, our spin on tribes, has always worked, and today it may be the only way left for you to stand out. Or as Seth Godin tribe knew years ago, there's only one way to do great marketing. Listen, if you've got 18 minutes to spare, you should take a look at this TED talk from right after Seth published tribes. Not quite sure who your tribe is? You need to find out. And Seth Godin won't talk to you, but well, we will. I'm the answer guy, and I'll be back.